Joe Prince Restaurant, Bangrat. Popular Cantonese pork congee recipe that have nice unique aroma of lightly burnt pan with mouthful seasoned minced pork. They have been creating delicious dishes for over 70 years and got a spot in the Bid Gourmand Michelin Guide Thailand for three years straight from 2018 to 2020. If you love Thai food, please subscribe, like, share, and comment so you don't miss any exclusive content that dig deeps into more Thai food than anywhere else. Sawas D. Krub and welcome to Thai Food Universe during Thai Food Near Me Part. My name is Doi T. Rapas. Today we're taking you to see Joke Prince Restaurant Bang Rack. Popular Cantonese pork congee recipe that have nice unique aroma of lightly burnt pan with mouthful seasoned minced pork. They have been creating delicious dishes for over 70 years and got a spot in the Bid Gourmand Michelin Guide Thailand for three years straight from 2018 to 2020. Street food is ready to eat food or drinks sold by a hawker or vendor in a street or other public place, such as at a market or fair. It is often sold from a portable food booth, food cart, or food truck and meant for immediate consumption. Some street foods are regional, but many have spread beyond their region of origin. Most street foods are classed as both finger food and fast food, and are cheaper than restaurant meals. In the end of 2016, the CNN reporter rated Bangkok as the 23rd best street food city in the world for its delicious food. Diverse and famous visitors can find food in any area at all times at reasonable prices. Yaorit or Chinatown Bangkok, Thailand is categorized as one of the best areas of street food. In addition, the government gives importance to the economy and tourism. Therefore, the government has a policy to use street food as a selling point for tourism by raising the standards of cleanliness and safety. Along with the appropriate organization of trade areas on the sidewalks the government wants to protect consumers and create a good image for Thai tourism. When talking about street food in Thailand, it is not only available in Bangkok, but scattered in all communities across Thailand. In 2016, it was estimated that there were 103,000 street food stalls accounting for 69% of all restaurants. The reason why there are so many street food stalls is because of the low cost. Only a cart and a few cooking utensils were able to open the shop. It also does not have to pay rent or may pay rent at a very low price. Street food restaurant owners can easily enter and exit the business. There are quite a few famous restaurants today starting from the street food stalls. As the street food restaurant had more customers, it started to expand into a permanent restaurant. Today, people may purchase street food for a number of reasons, such as convenience, to get flavorful food for a reasonable price in a sociable setting, to try ethnic cuisines, or for nostalgia. Kanji is a kind of soft-boiled rice and regularly eaten in many Asian countries. In some culture, 
Kanji is eaten as breakfast or dinner instead of some main meal. Food like kanji is being cooked for a long time since before Chinese history will started to record about rice. About rice. In old journey of Chinese dynasty court, it is recorded that kanji is a very good supplementary specialized in stimulating strength. Other than this, Kanji is counted as an art in Chinese cookery. Water and rice must fuse into one. Nowadays, kanji gain its popularity widely because it is easy to eat and also edible by all age and gender. Because breakfast is the most important meal, Tabis tend to eat their familiar dish for a long time like pork kanji. You can't miss kanji prince, popular pork kanji in Bangrak area, which is another delicacy legend with traditional Cantonese kanji recipe. Kanji Prince was selling since the beginning period of World War II, from one generation to another. Now, it's time for second generation, Mrs. Saronyan Hoana, to look after this delicacy and send forward to third generation, Jib Ms. Sarunpapat on Hoana. Now, it is open for over 70 years. This shop is named after Prince Theatre Bangrak, which it locates in front of the theatre, so it started to be called Junk Prince. Kanji here use Cantonese kanji recipe, made from jasmine rice grits boiling in soup until soft, smooth, and not too thick. Other than the kanji itself, its delicacy also come from mouthful seasoned minced pork and large pieces of entrails. There are options to be put in the kanji from minced pork, liver, kidney, stomach, and intestine, which are shop cleaned nicely already before cooking. Another highlight of kanji prints is the traditional process, that boil kanji pot by pot and put in fresh minced pork and to stew on high heat until cooked. That's why kanji here have sweet taste and have nice aroma of lightly burned, which is a unique charm unlike others, and be able to increase deliciousness by adding soft boiled egg or preserved egg. In addition, there are Thai donut for sale at the price of 10 baht to be eaten as side dish, while normal pork kanji price is at 40 baht, pork kanji with soft boiled egg is at 45 baht and pork kanji with century egg is at 50 baht. Pork kanji with soft boiled egg is sold at 45 baht. For those who want to add in entrails, Kanji Prince has many options for you to choose from. Pork intestine, pork stomach, pork liver, pork kidney, and pork heart. And even better than entrails is minced pork because it comes as a very big piece, being mouthful. The shop boil a big pot of kanji by seasoning pork bone soup, separate into smaller pots, then, unlike other shop, Boil seasoned minced pork in the kanji until boiling. 
That will bring sweetness from seasoned minced pork to the kanji while normal kanji shop will boil seasoned minced pork separately first. When there are orders, they will scoop kanji into a bowl and put seasoned minced pork on top to garnish before serve. For the taste of pork rice porridge with eggs with a texture that's not too solid and not too solid and the taste of meat that is unique only to the shop with a little burning fragrant from the pan that make it different from other places. The porridge isn't too bland with sweetness that came out of the marinated minced pork. Porridge texture mixed in together well, and even though it's been left out for long, the water still hasn't separated. Once eaten together with eggs cooked just right, not too well done and not too raw, Without any bad smell from the yolk, eaten together with giant minced pork, meaty will be a mouthful for you to chew. It's a place to visit for sure. And another difference is, if the customers order them to go, the package of the restaurant will be more special than other places. Because the restaurant doesn't use rubber band, instead they will use grass straws to tie the bed instead. The package of Prince Porridge is therefore very cool and kept the classic style of the past. It can be considered another unique characteristic unlike others. To get to Joth Prince Restaurant, drive on Chero and Krug Road past BTS Sap Han Taksan Station for 350 meters and Jok Prince Restaurant will be on the right. For those who decided to drive there themselves can park their car at Robinson Bangrak and then walk to the restaurant. Joke Prince Restaurant only accepts cash and no credit card. Joke Prince Restaurant is 350 meters away from BTS Sap Han Taksan Station Exit 3. Joke Prince Restaurant is open every day and serves twice a day. The first time is from 6 a.m. to midday and again from 4 p.m. until 10 p.m. You can ask for more information at 668-9795-2629. Nine, I accept all comments that are different from mine. Because, regarding the taste of how each person like, they are all different. Please kindly comment and respect others. I would like to tell you that every restaurant we visit, we pay the expenses ourselves. As for YouTube channel Thai Food Universe, we will try to upload videos every day. If you'd like to support and encourage us to make a special exclusive content digging deeper into Thai food, you can support us with details in the description below. Before we leave, please let me know what your favorite joke or kanji restaurant is. If you love Thai food, please subscribe, like, share, and comment along with pressing the notification bell so you don't miss any exclusive content that dig deeps into more Thai food than anywhere else. Only this way Thai Food Universe 